Hello everyone. Now this video will teach you how to recover some lost data from this Seagate firmware corrupted case. Now we can see that this hard drive ID information is not detected and only the SN number is read by boot mode from the ROM. That means from the PCB. So this one is from the PCB. Now we can see this is a COM terminal information and in the COM terminal we can find out the head one arrow and also the update mask and also the LED arrows. Now let's see if it's possible to fix the firmware corruption and get the hard drive detected and get the SNOS data back. So we have a backup the ROM and generate unlock ROM and send unlock key. Uh, we also backup the SYS the engine is the 35. So we have read this 35. Now we can save. Now we can export. Export this hex data. So this is the ROM unlock ROM and we can try to. Uh, create one a new folder here. Um, we can put the engineist here. Now we can name it 35.rpm. Now we can simply click save. So the engineist has been saved. Now we can go to SCAM terminal and uh, well we can confirm by open the working directory to see if the engine list has been read successfully or not now here we can see that it's already properly stored here so now we can try to uh, go to scum terminal it's not possible to enter f3 t because the led issue so uh, we need to power off and power on. Now we can send unlock key and then we need to use Ctrl Z to enter the F3T prompt. Otherwise we cannot enter the F3T prompt and then the drive will go to the LED status. Now we can try to view the V40, the engineist entries. We can find out there are totally C entries returned. Now we can try to uh, regenerate the translator and see if the translator regeneration uh, goes by or not, pass or not. So uh, we are regenerating the translator, so we need to wait a little bit. Anyway, we have backup the end list. So this step is very important to backup the original important SOS files. And here we can also see that uh, the entry number within the end list. So we need to remember this one. So totally see entries. These entries can be original uh, number or not. So it depends on the translator regeneration. And after the translator regeneration, we can view the V40 again to confirm the engineist entries returned. So now we just need to wait until the translator regeneration completes. Because the drive has the LED status, we can also find uh, the drive capacity is not detected, the head number, the model number, the firmware version of this ID information is not detected. So for this kind of 
LED drives, we can only try to read this hard drive ID by boot mode. Okay, now the translator regeneration completes. We can try to view the V40 again. So the C entries keep the same. Now we can try to uh, power off and then power on the drive again to check if the drive enters uh, the LED status or not. Now we can try to read this hard drive data arrow. We can see that the, the drive has been repaired and we can try to uh, view the, the ending part of LBA. So this is ending part of the data arrow to see if the, this arrow is accessible or not. Now we can see that the data error is accessible. That means this drive has been perfectly repaired. And now users can go to the DFL DDP data recovery equipment for data recovery.